How many of you are in here? Pretty much all of you except one. Hi, I'm Todd Hatfield, multimedia instructor at John Hersey High School and on the logistics team for A Soldier's Journey Home. And we had a problem that needed to be fixed. Meet Miguel. Hi, I'm Miguel and I built the application system for A Soldier's Journey Home. A Soldier's Journey Home builds one house a year for wounded veterans. Um, they're primarily based of uh, strictly volunteers from about uh, 15 different states, 500 volunteers get together and over a 10 day period, build a house from foundation to completion for that wounded veteran. So with having 500 volunteers from over 15 states and trying to organize that, it just became an absolute nightmare. The New York team tried to organize the New York guys, the Baltimore tried to organize Baltimore, Chattanooga, Georgia, and, and what Miguel has allowed this to do is be a one-stop shop where we have all 500 volunteers beginning and ending the registration process with a single click of a button to take us to Miguel's um, web app that he created for us. So they needed a custom solution and I built out a proprietary form building system that lets them build out their application forms with signatures, any of the questions they want, all of the waivers and legal. And so now this form builder has also created one central place for a soldier's journey homes, logistics for their applications and all of their legal logistics can now are now localized into one website with one CSV export through this platform. Yeah, screen mirroring. Mr. Hatfield, uh, Todd Hatfield, came to me and uh, talked about the Soldier's Journey Home and uh, wondering if any of my students were able to do it. And immediately there was really only one student that was able to do uh, the high level of uh, task that uh, Todd was asking for and Miguel immediately came to mind. I think uh, about a month into the school year, he did a second semester app at an incredibly high level. Um, he made rock, paper, scissors, which is for us is a second semester app about one month in, and, and he was just able to, to, to grasp the concepts. So uh, from that moment, I knew that uh, Miguel was special and Miguel could handle just about anything you can throw at him from a programmatic standpoint. The big question I had for you was through the testing process, We've got a couple lines of, of data in there that like just aren't needed, right? They're saying test right now. Right. Is there any way we can go in there and remove those without causing bigger damage to that database? Yes, I can just go in here and then remove all of the ones we have to remove. Um, I can do that as soon as uh, we're done here. Ever since I was probably like eight, I was interested in programming. I always wanted to learn how to do it. And when I was 12, I was finally like, hey, let's just go make it happen. Um, so I initially learned how to code by taking MIT's online Intro to CS course. And then from there, I was taking Stanford's AI courses in about the summer of sixth grade. And then from there, like I was really just building automation projects with Python. And then eventually, like probably in college, I want to go start a startup and become the CTO at a startup, you know, because that's really been one of my biggest goals for my whole life, really, is starting a true company. I want to try to get you to Kentucky if there's any way you could make the trip. Miguel has been absolutely outstanding to work with in what he's done and what he's allowed in regards to our efficiency and our organization has truly been groundbreaking and he deserves the credit and the, uh, the accolades that he deserves and i um, excited to get him on the build site this year so he can meet everybody he's helped, including the, uh, the wounded veteran that, that so desperately needs his, his house fixed. So being able to, to go to Mr. Brown in his computer apps class and collaborate with him, I have such a great relationship and, and, and admiration for Mr. Brown and everything he does that when, when, when two teachers can come together to solve a bigger problem outside of these walls, um, what it does to, to hook a kid and, and, and get a kid excited about a project is just multiplied 10 times. And so I, I think Miguel really enjoyed the fact that, um, you know, this was really over two different, um, two different classes, so to speak, as far as, as helping and collaborating, working with Mr. Brown to troubleshoot the app, working with myself and a Soldier's Journey Home to troubleshoot, you know, the small details of the launch to that. It was a great collaboration from all parties involved and Miguel did a phenomenal job.